Welcome to this week's episode of Marketing Uncut where I'll be sharing with you what um, a coal versus a cost is. So what is a coal? Uh, what's a KOL? So KOL in the uh, current times where you see a lot of um, influencers on social media promoting themselves, promoting their potential customers' products, uh, sharing their, their life journey, sharing their tips. Uh, these are people who are basically uh, key opinion leaders. That's what KOL means. And what about key opinion sellers? This, this key opinion sellers would be KOS. So this is something which has actually come up recently with the increase of live streaming and live streaming and social commerce. So what I can say is a KOL is a key opinion leader. Uh, an influential personality that can drive thinking, action, and decisions in mass. They have a wide influence over their followers. So usually these are like in thousands of followers and they've been building their followers over the years based on their uh, specific uh, topics or specific um, things in common with the followers, right? Um, and then what about the KOS? So KOS is, an in, is usually an internal uh, brand member could be somebody from your team, so could be somebody from your own company, could be the trainer, could be a sales leader, could be uh, somebody who works in your, in your retail outlet, um, or even the founder himself or herself. So they usually are very product specific people, they know their product in and out, and they usually try to educate um, their audience on a more regular basis um, and thematic also. So. It's not just one-off um, compared to the KOL, so we usually just promote it um, one-off. So they could be talking about their lives one 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 woman and to the next, and then they, they slot in a specific product that a brand has asked them to speak about. Um, it, it could be very natural, or sometimes they do they don't really talk about their lives, but on their specific post, they just promote that product. So, um, but in terms of the KOS, uh, followers already know. That they're there, they know the product well, and they're just trying to educate the audience before converting them into buyers. Okay, so how do you elevate a brand's live shopping post from a key opinion leader to a key opinion seller? Right, so picking, I can share with you three main tips for now. Uh, one would be to pick, picking and Average uh, influencer can result in wasted spend. A lot of people ask um, um, us, is it really worth it spending on an influencer? So what we can say is that it really depends on the product that you're trying to sell. And this will really depend on the product that you're selling. So for example, if you are just creating awareness about launch perhaps for a new car, you'll want to perhaps invite um, an influencer in the automotive industry, somebody who knows the technical stuff so he can actually speak about um, the automotive um, technical um, de technical details and be very natural at it. And also he will be able to somehow slot the, your product's best features into whatever he's pitching. So, but when you're talking about KOS, um, they, it's the same thing. They really need to know your product well. It's not just about talking about fluff, but they need the product knowledge. So you need to be able to make sure that they have the ability to learn and adapt. Um, they are also very personal, personal. So the people who are watching them are looking at them, use the product and talk about the product um, with authenticity. Um, they should be a people person so that it's that people can relate to them and enjoy watching them so when they have product knowledge and they are also attractive and fun to watch that's where you have a higher chance of converting your audience into buyers and obviously when it comes to uh, videos live live streaming videos there is no time to actually edit and uh, change things around and technical issues tend to happen so your KOS needs to know how to adapt to the situation uh, be calm and collected and know what to say to fill up the, the odd, awkward moments that might actually occur so uh, choosing this be the choosing the right KOS will cover this three things so a recap would be to make sure that he is he or she is able to speak about your product as if he really knows how to use the product and is an actual user of the product. He needs to be a person, a people person, so he knows how to make it fun, um, how to make the show fun and engaging with your audience, and of course to stay cool and calm and collected during uh, possible technical issues that they might face during the live streaming. So um, the takeaways on how to elevate your KOL to a KOS would be to 
identify the right people to work with you. Um, again, it could be somebody from your own team or it could be an outsourced uh, agency. Um, form the right relationship. You need time to actually train the person to speak in front of an audience and about your product so that it's more natural. Um, innovate with new compensation models. Perhaps give them an incentive. Uh, when they promote or sell your product, they could actually earn something from it besides um, paying them one lump sum. Find the sweet spot between your audience and that of your KOL. Elevate your KOL. That means promote him promote him, promote him, or promote her, promote her, promote her. Reuse the content that you've created for future uh, posts, uh, for future uh, content in your social media website, in your e-commerce website, and there is no right formula. So always be patient and test, and you will see over time that you'll be able to engage with your, your target audience better over time and making more sales throughout of course so that's my sharing for this week and i hope you've learned something if you've got any questions uh, please ask us in the comments below please do subscribe to our channel as well you'll be learning a lot more about social commerce marketing thank you for joining me this week